I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber, a grade 6 student. The question is, write the input output pattern rule for the following. So we are given inputs and outputs. Inputs are 1, 2, 3, 4. Outputs are 1, 2, 4, 8. You need to find how input is related with output. So that's the whole idea. Now for all these input output type of questions, we are thinking about uh, some machine here, right? In between, we are thinking about some machine which converts the numbers from input, performs some operations there, and then get the output. Now, these operations we can find from the relation in output. Now, in the output, what do we see? Numbers are growing 1, 2, 4, 8. It is uh, not growing by constant numbers. 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 8 minus 4 is 4. So it is increasing each time by larger and larger amounts. So in a way, they are getting multiplied. We also observe that uh, we can get from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 4, and then from 4 to 8 by multiplying each previous number by 2, right? So times 2, do you see that? So if I do times 2, I can find the output for the next number. So if the input is 5, we expect here 8 times 2, 16 as the output, right? But now the question is, how should I get 16 from 5? That is to say, how can I get directly from 5 the number 16? This is what we are calling as input output pattern rule. Sometimes we call it explicit rule, right? So directly we want to find how input input is related with output. That is what we are interested in. Okay, again R, okay, T, output. The key here is, since we are multiplying each number by 2, we can say, well, at this stage, this number is 1 times 2. So we get 2. And how do we get 4? We get 1 times 2 times 2. Consider this dot to be like multiplication, right? As far as 8 is concerned, which is 1 times 2 times 2, again times 2, right? And for 16, we started with number 1, right? times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, correct? So that is the pattern which you see, right? So that is the pattern. So if if input is 2, we are multiplying by 1, 2. If input is 3, we are multiplying by 2, 2. Do you see that? Okay. Uh, let's take it further. Uh, now we'll, we'll go further a bit more, right? So each of these numbers, we are going to write in a different way. We'll write this as 2 to the power of 1, right? Because there's 1, 2, 2 to the power of 1. Here there are 2 twos, 2 to the power of 2. That is called the exponent form. 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the power of 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. So 2 to the power of 4. Do you see that? So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Now the idea is, how are these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, related with these inputs, right? So this try to relate uh, this two, this two with this one. So it is one. Do you see that? And then we have three here. We have three here, but we have two there. Do you get my point? And if we have four, if we have four in the input, then the output, we have two to the power of three. So in general, if I say I have uh, let's go 10, right? In that case, in that case, what should be the number here? Well, we can write what it could be here. If it is 10, it is 1 less than 10. That it should be 9. Since for 2, the power is 1. For 3, the power is 2. For 4, 1 less 3. For 5, 1 less 4. So for 10, it should be 1 less 9. Do you get the idea? So, 
whatever the input is, this power is 1 less. And that is how we get this number. So if I multiply the number by that power, right, then I could get what is to be filled here. 2 to the power of 4 is 16 that comes here. So for 10, the number which will come here will be 2 to the power of 9. Do you get an idea? That is how it works. So now I can write down the root. If the input is, let us say, n, then this machine will convert it into 2 to the power of n take away 1 and give us the output. Do you see that? So it is going to perform an operation which will multiply 2's by this number. And so we get an output which is 2 to the power of n minus 1. Do you see that? So that is how it relates. So every value here comes as an exponent. Right? So the rule here is that the output, we can now write down the rule, which is our pattern rule. We'll write pattern rule is if input is n, then output is 2 to the power of n minus 1, right? So that is how it could be done. Or if input is 5, then the output is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 of them multiplied together. If input is 10, then we'll multiply 2, 9 twos, 2 to the power of 9. So that is the whole idea. I hope you with this you understand how to write a pattern rule for such input-output question. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Also feel free to post questions if you need help with. Thank you and all the best.